Chapter 11, Long-Term Assets Introduction Chapter 11 discusses long-term assets and their classification as tangible or intangible. It explains the concept of long-term assets, their importance in generating revenue, and the distinction between tangible assets with physical substance and intangible assets without physical substance. The chapter also covers the accounting implications of long-term assets and the treatment of costs associated with intangible assets. Additionally, it explores the accounting for natural resources and the fundamentals of amortization for intangible assets. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you should be able to 1. Understand the difference between tangible and intangible long-term assets. 2. Classify assets as tangible or intangible based on their characteristics. 3. Explain the process of capitalizing costs and allocating them over an asset's useful life. 4. Identify the factors that contribute to goodwill and its recording on the balance sheet. 5. Describe the accounting treatment for natural resources and the fundamentals of amortization for intangible assets. Key Points Long-term assets are items owned by a business that are expected to be used for more than one year and help generate revenue. Tangible assets have physical substance and can be seen and touched, while intangible assets do not have physical substance but provide specific rights to the owner. Examples of tangible assets include buildings and equipment, while examples of intangible assets include patents and trademarks. Goodwill is an intangible asset that represents the value of favorable factors that allow a business to generate a greater rate of return or profit. Capitalizing costs involves recording the total cost of acquiring a long-term asset on the balance sheet, including additional costs beyond the purchase price. Depreciation is the process of allocating the cost of a tangible asset over its useful life, while amortization is the process of allocating the cost of an intangible asset over its useful life. Natural resources are assets that are consumed when used, such as lumber, mineral deposits, and oil gas fields. They are recorded as fixed assets and their costs are covered through depletion. Real-world application. Understanding the classification and treatment of long-term assets is crucial for businesses and individuals alike. For businesses, it helps in accurately recording and reporting their financial position and performance. For individuals, it provides insights into the value and importance of intangible assets, such as trademarks and copyrights, which can have a significant impact on the cost of products and services. By understanding these concepts, individuals can make informed decisions when purchasing goods or services, and be aware of the factors that contribute to their pricing. Conclusion Chapter 11 explores the world of long-term assets, their classification, and the accounting principles associated with them. By understanding the difference between tangible and intangible assets, as well as the process of capitalizing costs and allocating them over an asset's useful life, you will gain valuable insights into the financial aspects of businesses and the real-world implications of intangible assets. Whether you are a business owner or a consumer, this knowledge will empower you to make informed decisions and navigate the complex world of long-term assets. Additionally, the chapter covers the accounting treatment for natural resources and the fundamentals of amortization for intangible assets, providing a comprehensive understanding of the topic.